Mabuhay! Welcome back to my channel. This is Daryl again. In today's video, we're gonna talk about something really interesting and that is what we call input-based learning. So a lot of you asked me that probably I could do a video in Taglish. Pwede tayo magsalita ng Taglish today and I don't really mind. Most of the time, I speak in English, in Spanish in my videos and I thought there would be like one of those days wherein I need to just chill. So today I found a very interesting article from fluentu.com and it discusses about five secrets of input-based learning. Well, I'm gonna post it here later on when I edit my video. So it says five secrets of input-based learning, language learning, that won't leave you out in the cold. So, ano ba ang input-based learning? So, ang input-based learning ay ang pag-consume ng language using the media sa English. So, halimbawa, kung ikaw ay nag-aaral ng Espanyol o Pranses o Ingles, dapat ang ginagawa natin ay nanonood tayo, nagbabasa, at ginagawa natin ang mga parang ito nang sa ganun ay mabilis nating ma-process ang language. So, if you're trying to learn these languages that I just mentioned, you probably would want to consider using YouTube, okay? You listen to a lot of input in the target language and also read using the target language. So if it's English, then, then probably just read any text. So here I have five items that is provided by the fluentu.com that we're gonna talk about. So ang sabi nila, ang unang-una sa listahan ay Kung gusto mong matuto ng mabilis sa isang language is seek out engaging resources for listening and reading. So guys, kung kayo yung mag-aaral din ng language, like for me, when I started learning Spanish, I used to watch a lot of videos, uh, movies in Spanish. And one of the one of the directors that I would recommend siguro for me, my personal taste is Almodovar. I really like his films. I think I mentioned it in my last video when I talked about Penelope Cruz and why I was learning the language using movies. I think that's really effective because you get to hear the sounds. Also, the, the way that they say things is very helpful, especially if you want to say it that way. So for me, learning through movies is definitely one of the things that I would recommend. So, seek out engaging resources for listening and reading. So, hindi naman pwede na kapag gusto mong mag-aral ng language dahil gusto mong magkaroon ng vocabulary na, let's say, you wanna use highfalutin words. You wanna use different kinds of words to make people think that you are intelligent. Like for me, that is not the goal of any communication. The goal of any communication is to be able to make the people understand what you're saying. Okay, so listening and reading. So kung gusto nyo ng magbasa ng Harry Potter, that's nice. Because that's the target language. And remember, it should be entertaining and engaging as well. So if it's engaging, if it's something that you really like, then the language learning process would be so much easier. So you have to consider that. The next one would be use tried and true methods. So, there are different kinds of methods that are available online. So, meron mga quizzes, mga podcasts, blogs, vlogs as well. At iba't iba pa na pwede natin gamitin sa input. So, ibig sabihin pag ini-input, dapat consume natin yung lengguahe gamit ang salita na inaaral natin. So, dapat doon tayo mag-focus. Okay, girl? So, like, for me, that is one of the things that I would recommend. So, kung gusto niyong matuto ng, uh, through music as well, there I think there are a lot of people who do that. They try to imitate the artist and they memorize the lyrics of the song. You can learn a language easier as well. So, it's a combination of different media that are available these days online. So, marami kayong Mars makikita dyan online na magagamit nyo para matuto kayo ng lengguahe. Third is, think like an iceberg to gain confidence in your passive skills. Okay, so, I think everyone knows about the iceberg. It's just the tip of the iceberg that everyone sees. But below that, there's a lot of processes that's happening. So, 
you read a lot, you memorize vocabulary, you write things like paragraphs, sentences, articles, etc. You listen to a lot of things. Definitely, there's a lot of work to do in order for you to learn the language, to have a decent level in the language. Kung baga, yung tip of the iceberg, yun naman, di ba, ang usually nakikita ng mga tao. Kung nandun ka sa tip ng iceberg, yun lang yung nakikita nila, but they never really thought about the process na naganap. So, yun yung dapat nating i-work on. Na, at the end of the day, language learning is a process. A lot of work that is happening is under water. And not everyone sees that. And you shouldn't be, like, sad if you think that you're not responding so much or you're not progressing because you are the one who is learning it and you should enjoy the process. Number four is, if you don't want to talk right away, don't. Language learning can be too focused on output, okay? So just remember there's more than one way up the same mountain. So, well, sometimes people are being judged because of their ability to speak the language. Minsan, nahihirapan tayo na sabihin na mag-express ng ating mga sarili. Hindi naman lahat ng tao na na kayang mag, magsalita. Ibig sabihin nun, sila na yung magaling. Meron din naman mga iba na magaling lang sila mag-interpret, mag-understand, but sometimes, it's really hard for them to communicate what they want to mean. Because knowing a language is different from teaching it. I always tell that to everyone that I meet. A lot of people out there would also understand that these two are separate things. If you may be a native speaker of the language, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can explain things easily to a person. I don't know guys, siguro hindi niya nitindihan. Sabi nito ni, ni Mom Shi, who are you to talk about these things? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, that's just about my point of view and I think that you get what I mean. So, yun siya. So don't be afraid if you commit mistakes while learning the language is a process. Kapag nahihirapan kayo, you can pause or you can just say like, oh, I need to think about it. Organize your thoughts when you say things. Just practice and practice makes perfect as we all know. And number five is have faith that you'll see results. But just to share, when I was starting to learn the Spanish language when I was, when I was in the university, um, during my second year, medyo nahihirapan na ako kasi feeling ko magaling ako sa grammar but then sometimes when a native speaker talks to me I feel like I don't understand them that much. Uh, first, because hindi ako ganun ka-exposed dun sa sounds na lagi ko naririnig. Siguro sa sa classroom nagagamit namin siya pero iba pa din yung flow ng language kapag sinasalita ng mga native speakers. And if you're ears are not accustomed to listening to those sounds the way that they phrase their words and their intonation, sometimes you're gonna be lost and it's normal. And also, it's common that you cannot respond quickly. Some people can, but if you think that you are struggling with that, it's normal. I can attest to you that I've, I've been in that stage. So, wag kayong, wag kayong ma-frustrate kung feeling nyo parang nahihirapan kayo kasi it's not for you, girl. No. It's for everyone. So, it's for everyone who wants to learn. You just need to find resources that are engaging. So, kung gusto mo ng articles or talks about beauty, entertainment, what else, movies, music, sports, you choose your own media. And you know, your interest. And then from then on, you strive to look for resources that will enable you to learn the language. And so those are the five tips that Fluent U has given us. So guys, comment down below if there are things that you want to comment about input-based language learning. It really helped me a lot in my own understanding of languages on how I would approach languages whenever I feel like I want to learn another one. So, wala pa naman akong inaaral na bago these days, although I feel like I need to get back to the French language again because I haven't been using the language since I got here in Spain. But, who knows? So, guys, thank you so much for watching our video for today. 
So please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And also comment down below if you have more tips for our other viewers. So guys, thank you so much and I'm gonna see you soon. Ciao!